What's up guys, this is the Roafman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. In this episode we are, our garrison of Paris is going to push forward and engage this French force which is marching on the capital. And they got lots of cavalry, but we also have lots of pikes and we also have some of this uh, foot guard which are armed with swords only. So we've got our own, we've got our own heavy cavalry plus um, uh, melee infantry equivalent. So we, this might get a bit bloody. But we've also got a good, um, a good support uh, formation of line infantry advancing. Should we run into any difficulties? So let's take them out. So we have secured the bulk of mainland French territory. One territory still eludes us, but we have an army en route to knock them out. Um, the biggest problem will be shoring up the gaps in the Americas, because they have quite a dominating position on the continent. So I'd like to capture as many main cities as possible to prevent the development of the United States, because I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen. Right. So our guns are going to sit off axis to try and get as much, about as good a field of view as possible. Our howitzers are going to be up front. I'm going to deploy my infantry outside of the town. Probably where the guns are. Drop all my cavalry going out wide with my guerrillas. And then have my melee infantry go through the town. Ah, forgotten. Forgotten a set of guns. And my general's going to follow the main line. Ah, no. I hate why I've suddenly started doing this select all thing. I don't quite know why I'm doing it. So, my artillery engage a three pounder horse that's danger close. My artillery, my other artillery, focus on the other enemy units that are actually in range. Let's begin to advance my melee infantry through the town. My cavalry up front, my guerrillas out wide. Although it looks like they are they're massing. Ooh. Grenadiers, eh? You hit so you hit that cuirassier unit. This unit can hit the grenadiers. Yes! First grenadier regiment you're going to watch your precious army fall. Melee infantry form a blocking line. My infantry needs to get up here pretty ricky tick. To be honest, they might even have to... ...come through the town themselves. It's most of the... ...enemy army, that's where they are. Uh, Lusitania... Dragoons, get up there. Take out that enemy gun unit. I do see them on the move. Especially these guys. Enemy carabiner. Okay, right. Let's get my howitzers now. Get, get to get set them to get to work on the enemy units that are right here. And there we go. So these men just have swords, but hit the cuirassier. Get my pikes in there. Lusitania dragoons hit the regiment of artillery. My heavy cavalry 
advance around to the rear of their line, see if we can draw any of them off. Let's get new targets, well, keep my howitzers firing on other units. You guys drop into square. Pikes get over here quickly. My Swiss Grenadiers run over here. My Regiment of Infantry run over here. Yeah, my infantry here should clean out those Curacier in short order. My Pikes will counter charge Carabiner. You men charge the Grenadiers. heavy cavalry to go hit this cluster of light French infantry. There we go. Keep my melee infantry running on, charging into the enemy. The Swiss pikes will deal with the carabiners. You guys hit the grenadiers. Let's get some infantry still. Okay, get you... Okay, right. Let's get you guys to hit the light infantry. You guys to fight the grenadiers. There we go, that's the enemy light foot contingent dealt with. The gendarmerie are going down fast. Let's get a regiment of line infantry up here to begin providing some fire. Yeah, my granite, my eh, dragoons might be okay here. Run you guys on into that regiment of horse. Don't bother chasing down their light infantry. All my heavy infantry back. Get my... Okay, Swiss pikes are here. But let's get... Swiss pikes charge through into the marines. Yeah, my... Heavy infantry there did not want to... Well, they are being shot at, so I don't blame them. Try run my marines through, get my Swiss grenadiers in to help my Lusitania dragoons because they look mighty upset. And everyone's walking when I'd really not want them to. You men destroy the gendarmerie. The core guard came back. Okay, you men charge the horse guards. Let these men advance in our first actual coherent line unit. You men advance. You're going to get sucked into that combat, but I don't want you to. My grenadiers will even the odds. You men charge the horse guards. We're going to get involved in some close quarters action. Let's get our melee infantry to push the right flank. Get a regiment of line infantry up here. You, you guys, not, not, I mean, like I said, I'd rather my guerrillas didn't get involved, but. Yeah, Melissa Dragoons have routed, understandably. No, oh, my guerrillas are also in this action. Yeah, fine. So. <clears throat> you men have to go around one, around one flank, you men have to go around the other. There we go, the core guard are in. Let's make sure our howitzers are aiming at the light foot to the rear. Fine, gang up on the marines. Now they've now they've been ganged up on and killed. Run away. Our reinforcements are here, but we don't need them. Run our pikes on into the run our pikes on into the combat or into the guns. Get my cavalry on the move. Ooh, I definitely didn't give you orders to attack them, but whatever. Where's my general? So you men charge down the marines. You guys charge down that light company. You guys get down here and charge the line infantry guards. You will miss the stakes. There we go, my pikes can continue 
the charge against the guns. There we go, let's chew them up. And then we will want to uh, pursue. We are going to continue. Good, if I can get my general over here. Ooh, actually, you can, that means you can hit the Swiss line. It's a good unit to get rid of. There we go. You've got the Marines. Advance onto the horse artillery. You guys go after the Marines here. You guys go after the Swiss line. Yeah, they're going to escape. Ooh, you guys... Okay, right. If I do this correctly, he might stop. If you right-click to attack, sometimes the unit being attacked will stop and face you. Like that. There we go. Done. They're going to route. So it's all on. Gen pretty much my general. I'm not going to run this unit in because I can't be bothered to micro them around the spikes. Because it's going to be fairly unnecessary because we've got a good amount of cavalry here. Should be enough to clear out this Swiss line even though they are spread out. Yes! Yes! It says it's a close victory, but it is not. Well, granted we lost 800 men, but goddamn, they've only got 300 left. They're a raiding force now. They aren't a... an army of concern. So you men get back into the territory. So it was the Lusitania Dragoons we lost. But we will be expanded by a unit of line infantry. So then, I know it doesn't entirely, it's not what they need, but I will give them another four units of line infantry in Brussels. Because it's better than nothing. And you men just stay near Paris. Can't build anything new. So Felix Galas, Galas who requires... Yeah, so get some special troops. He's ready. Still got that force near Tangier. They're going to die. Yeah. You're going to march on Strasbourg and hopefully take it. Although we will be fighting against Württemberg, so that might not even be a good idea. Advance up to the border anyway. You're going to get repelled or you're going to get charged by infantry, so I might even... Okay, you're max recruiting. You can't recruit any. I mean, London's recruiting some good infantry. Edinburgh's can't, is recruiting a bit of infantry, but not much. Let's hop over to the Americas, because this is where we've got a bit more momentum. So if I... I mean, Boston's recruiting a bit of a garrison, so if I keep you sort of nearby, you can push up and take Fort Nashwack quickly. So you're waiting outside the gates of Pennsylvania. You could probably attack it, but they're going to they're going to attack us next turn anyway. They might even draw this force in to try and save them, which would be quite handy. Utrecht, we don't want. No, that's Cambridge. Yeah, Utrecht is being destroyed. Okay, so let's hit in turn and see how the French attempt to stop us now. I mean, we are, we now will probably see Westphalia get involved. So easy times aren't here yet. They're gathering their strength. I mean, if you want to raid, that's fine, because raiding means my we get more time to recruit more men. And we're going to defend against the garrison, plus the support here. And we're going to take Pennsylvania. I think that would be a, a good victory. Because you've got to bear in mind, we do have a Louisiana army marching up towards us from the southwest, so we don't want to get caught in the open 
um, poorly resupplied <clears throat> by a by a you know a massive infantry that that the uh, colonials usually recruit. So as is tradition, sometimes the enemy will just deploy right in your face when they're when they're about to die. So let's just keep all my infantry together. Keep all my cavalry together. When you guys fire it will off. General in the center. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, they can deploy right up in your face when they know the end is near. So let's speed up time, because... <laughs> Because why not? <laughs> like, if they're not going to actually push, then we're just going to blow the bejesus out of them with artillery. And their reinforcements that are coming up aren't even really reinforcements. Well, not good ones. Because the enemy unit, yeah, routing, routing. And they're actually falling back into the, into the city. Deploy my cavalry on the right flank. It looks like they're trying to... Sneak some native bow auxiliary down there. I mean, it looks like they are going to try and just... I don't, I mean, I don't know what, what they want to achieve. They have some more native troops coming in, so we shouldn't be tricked. Charge my conquistadors in, fire it will on. Fire a volley actually at the... Alright then. They were taking their time about it, so let's turn fire at will off. There we go, advance forward, fire at will. You guys want to get involved in a shooting match? There, there you go. Yeah, just let them come on. Because like I said, we, like I said, we've got, we do have enemy reinforcements coming in, so we don't want to get too slapdash with what we got. And you guys are gonna be fire at will on, so you can just load, aim, fire at the colonial cavalry. I mean, if the enemy cavalry wants to push the right flank, then they're the left flank. They're welcome to. Yeah, you attack the light horse. Because we can't even win by taking the city, so it's easiest to just hold back. Send a pike unit to chase down the Spanish guard. Royal Spanish guard, hold on. Yeah, they charged me, but down they go. So in terms of reinforcements, they got a bunch of infantry coming in. The native bow auxiliary look like they really don't want to fight. Because they're like, they want to run away, but they can't. Okay, let's take... Take my musket arm troops up the front. So I got mixed up with my foot guard and my royal halberdier guard. I was I thought these guys were melee infantry, but it would appear they were not. So let's send two cavalry around one flank. I mean, I, I appreciate I have just split them up into lights and heavies rather than having a mix. But again, let's speed up time again. Oh, don't try go inside. That's a waste of time. Now there's the native troops. That's the Ottawa Scouts? Yeah, that is the Ottawa Scouts. The 
I mean, they are digging in. Yeah, our artillery is just relentless. Take the wall, just so we can get in. Just so they think they're going to use it. They think they're going to use it to get the better of us, but they aren't. You guys... Kill the colonial line. We've got cavalry coming in. Our royal guards have taken the gates, and now we can just run everyone in. I'm sorry if I'm, you guys don't want me run it, fighting this battle at high speed, but it's just... It's so, so not a fight. Ah. Don't run away from me. Well, the game, that is. Swarm, swarm! Attack Pattern Alpha! They form square, which is a questionable decision. Well, no, I suppose it's not bad for an when they're being attacked on all sides by infantry, but it just means they can never mass their... Uh, bayonets in any one direction. There we go. There we go. Right. Yeah, 115 men lost. They even pushed back. Philadelphia will be ours. But we've got to bear in mind, we do have lots of French armies actually wandering around our territories. That's why we can't ever really stop recruiting, no matter what our financial situation may become if they give us a shot at Württemberg I'll take it because that will wipe out so many enemy units but if they, if they don't they demand Cuba they're going to offer Armenia no no Cuba's worth more to us than Armenia Armenia's a territory would be interesting to take to secure to further secure our eastern borders but i wouldn't want to give up cuba for it because cuba has got a lot of plantations a good amount of factories and some good ports so i wouldn't want to lose that yeah, russia's continuing their shenanigans up on our front line near istanbul Strange, really. Crimea is undefended. No, under, is, is undefended now. So why didn't they? Why don't they go for it? <laughs> why have you raided the port? The city's there. Why have you broken my stuff? It's there for the taking. Oh God, AI. Yeah, Westphalia is on the move. Yep, this is what the sort of thing we were expecting. That's why I dumped these more, uh, these additional troops into the city. So let's do it. Westphalia likely will not have fire by rank and most of their troops are militia. So we might have a few relentless sieges. We can have a very short and intense period of warfare against the um, the Westphalian states. But what we're going to see is um, them being repulsed. So field artillery, field artillery would have been incredibly useful. I don't want to defend the town. Not inside. I want to push up. So let's mass my artillery on the left flank. Let's deploy a good block of... Maybe even more than that. To spread out and get aggressive here. Let's group four units in the city here. I mean, we want to put some in the city. I just don't quite know where I want to use them yet. I mean, these ones on the flank might be a bit isolated, so I'll give them some cavalry support. And my militia is the general, so he's going to hold back. Advance up aggressively. I don't care if it's right in their faces. I, I want to get my firepower advantage. You men secure the farmhouse. These grenadiers hold the street. These, these men 
deploy. Cavalry get out here. We've got two, we've got a spare unit in the centre, plus my militia general, who obviously I don't want to threat. I don't want to risk. Yeah, lots of Lanvin militia. So our musket musketry at the start is going to be quite hefty. Because we're not going to be spread out. They're massing on the right flank, but again, the plan is... The plan is to roll up the... Uh, is to roll up the flank. Roll up the left flank. Lure some of them into cavalry attacks, that's pretty good. So the 2nd Regiment, so they might come back if they don't lose that many men. But let's start the... start the, uh, the roll. Oh, that should be some good carcass shot kills there. You guys stay in square. You guys also deploy in square. You guys can fire into the Provincial Cavalry unit. We've taken a building. We've taken the buildings off. Good. Advance this line up like so. I mean, they really want to fight the... Uh, they really want to fight these squares. Okay, I did wonder if they were going to go for my grenadiers. Yeah. So they came back. So let's make two of our units charge the Westphalia regiment. One unit run around the f run around the rear. Yeah, the cavalry is being repulsed. This infantry in the centre is actually doing some good damage into the rear of the enemy positions. Okay, let's run you away from those pikemen. I think they were, that's what they were doing. They were act, let's act, let's act nonchalant. Fine, you guys charge into them as well. It's going to knock them out quicker. There we go, mass, mass retreats. You men charge that unit of militia in the rear. Spread these line out into a more coherent group. Let's get you guys out of square, facing down the first regiment of foot yourself. Let's get you men out of square. So you've hit the rear of the ninth regiment of militia. So hopefully you can knock them out. Again, we could could really have done with more cavalry, but you can only use the tools that you have. This is a good army for the defense. Yeah, the pikes are obsessed with my um, cavalry, understandably so. Let's get the Royal Crusier Guard out of there. So we've got a focused enemy charge here. The infantry mercenaries have gone in. Elsewhere, our troops are dominating them on the field of battle. Let's get my cavalry out of the way again. Yeah, we got we're getting tagged. Understandably, they're they're matching our um, they're matching our cavalry with their cavalry. So these chaps look like they're getting shot in the rear and they're broken. So my light cavalry, or well, my heavy cavalry, advance. I want my infantry line to push up to offer them a bit of a safe haven so that I can deploy some of my cavalry to chase them down. And then you chaps can pivot because you've got the first regiment there, they're broken. So you guys advance. Switch our artillery to round shot. 
the one mid midlitz cavalry is being destroyed you guys deploy square because that provincial cav is about to run into you to chase down my cavalry always on the move no don't chase them down that's low hanging fruit it's the infantry we want it's all he cares about Okay, there we go. So you men advance to face the general's bodyguard. Let's get these grenadiers out. Drop some new artillery truth bombs. There we go. So now you guys can rest up. Fire it well off. Yeah, you just have fun. Killing as many militiamen as you can. Okay, the enemy general's bodyguard is redeployed. Okay, my artillery focus fire on the Lanvin militia. Back here. Although you will get some good quick lime kills there. I might actually get you guys to chase down the general's bodyguard. Yeah, just kill as many militia as you can. Who's that? Very well. Yeah, my artillery chase down the general. Chase down the general's uh, bodyguard. They're under artillery fire, soon to be under musket fire. There we go, you men rest up. <laughs> They're already wavering and they haven't even been shot at yet. Oh yes, you, you executed a member of the 1st Regiment of Foot and then you ran away. The traitor is sixth. There goes the 1st Regiment. Keep on attacking. Maybe hit the pikeman. Because you're not going to kill anyone. We're going to continue. It won't last very long, though, because everyone's so close to the edge of the map. But just... Get as many of them as you can. Of every unit. Don't, don't worry too much about focusing on every possible... I'm killing, you know, too many individual units. I mean, although this one is the last one on the map, so try and kill them. But they are mighty close to the edge. But that's a, there we go, decisive. That's the word you want to see. So we're likely to see a few more actions like that against the Westphalians, which they definitely can't keep up for too long. But obviously the onus is on us to keep the uh, recruitment and replenishment on the go. Because they will wear you down if you let them. So you're raiding. Okay, you're enough of a interesting army to deploy. You need... Are you, wait, are you recruiting? Okay, you're recruiting some... Too much infantry. Okay, right. Let's cancel recruiting of that. And then manually re get Felix to recruit a grenadier. So then they will follow him down, or follow him around. Diego Coronado. I mean, if we attack the city, well, we might have to actually fight up through France. We might not be able to deliver the knockout blow that we want. So. New men disembark. Sail over. To La Havre. There we go. Santos Reyes. So we're not going to intercept this army. 
I'm going to beef up their military capacity. You're going to continue to recruit infantry. Brussels, you can replenish. You can't recruit anything because the governor's palace is broken. Amsterdam. You're reinforcing, but let's get, let's get a unit's worth of line infantry recruited. In London, you're getting some Swiss infantry. Plus four more line. Let's march you guys down to London. So next turn, we've got another force ready to dispatch. Let's, no, we can't spend any money on economy yet because we've got to repair a lot of buildings in the Americas because they are significantly damaged. And then this force, there we go, can replenish. Boston's got a bit more of a garrison. Can't repair the government chambers in New York. I mean, you've got to go auto that fight. Bunch of militia and artillery. Just push them back. Get up to Fort Nashwack and secure that. Boston has got some more infantry on the go. Okay. Obviously, our income is going down. Saratoga and New York has grown, but we can't do anything about it. Okay, so let's get this fourth rate and this galleon out to one of the trade zones. Yeah, it's going to be down to South America. These fourth rates aren't enough to fight off the French fleets here. I wonder if Sweden's going to land against Copenhagen. That would be interesting. But you're going to have to march up and hit that French army and hopefully push them back towards Strasbourg. Austria could declare on us at any time, so that's something to be concerned about. Got a couple more galleons built, which go join this fleet here. That's added a, a bit of cash. I mean, we're trading like a beast, but in the Americas we are. Well, <laughs> we need to expand. We need to expand a lot. So in terms of tech, one more turn to a quick line, which will help hugely. Cambridge is on to far in advance. Salamanca is carrying on with secular humanism. Again, that's fine. Obviously, we've got lots of... A large amount of territory around the world now to administer and invest in. So, I wonder if... They'll probably... They will likely say no. But if I just say peace and I'll give you Crimea... Yeah. So, they, they, they likely won't take it because they can just take it. Um, unless... So, minor nations. Shh. D D Württemberg. Hello. What if I give you Crimea, Württemberg? For peace. No. I didn't think that would work. Because when we t attack Strasbourg, we do have a lot of <laughs> Württemberg forces. So this is quite a significant engagement we've got in, in Central Europe. But we've got um, lots of firepower at our disposal. I mean, Paris, are you building walls? No. Walls would be incredibly useful. We've done a load of recruitment. Obviously, all that's been done. Let's hit end turn. Yeah, Austria could... Might try and secure an alliance with Austria. Maybe. That might help us. Ah, oh, where did you... Where did you shit? Oh, you guys were meant to initially block off the Balkans. Ah. Oh, well. Not the Balkans, the Baltic. Balkans is the other part of the world. That little galley's been hit. Let's see if they take any ships with them. No, sadly not.
I'm happy to let this guy raid because we've got the army coming up from Spain to fight them. And like I said, the more, the longer they spend raiding, the more time we can actually recruit troops from Paris to build up more armies to face off more enemies. So they're going to go... Uh, I'm not going to intercept. I'm happy to let them raid. Well, happy is a bit of an overstatement. <laughs> Obviously, it's better if I don't let them raid, because uh, they won't do so much economic damage to me when I need it most. Oh, I so don't blockade my port, Austria. Go fight the French. They're our joint enemies now. Yeah, Russia's really aggroed on us. Finally. They've not even, they're not even going to take it. Oh my god. Russia, why you do this? Finally, am I going to fight it? No. <laughs> but did kill 242 of theirs. Maybe now they've got it, I might be able to make peace with them. Please attack Austria. That would be great. Oh, Russia Austria war would be perfect because that would make that would make the Austrians leave me alone. You get involved. Oh no! New, oh yeah, New Spain got attacked by a. There's a French army in New Mexico. Yeah, that's that's not ideal. Ooh, another fight. So this is going to be a bit trickier. But then again, this army's got a lot of depleted units in it, as does this one, and this French army is not the strongest. Let's do it. So we're not going to fight in the town. We're going to fight outside of the town. We're going to find a position where we can maximise our firepower, especially if you know the French are going to be coming in on our rear left quarter. We want the Westphalians to march through the town so they're disordered. They aren't forming any battle lines and we can destroy them as they march through the buildings. I think that's the plan there. So... Oh yes, especially when we've got a lovely terrain feature like this. So. Okay, so we're still getting... Uh, hmm. So. Let's put... You're too... Yeah, you're not... I was about to say you're too, Okay, let's pick the, the most appropriate sized unit take position in the house we're going to deploy some infantry up threat so you guys actually want to deploy slightly behind the house so that if they shoot out the windows they'll be shooting into the backs of the men of the enemy so let's form a trench line here you guys form a trench line. We can scatter the odd. Well, with my elite infantry, they can dump stakes ahead of the potential enemy advance. Although, to be honest, that's probably a smart idea to do with these. Uh, to do with these guys is why. Why um, put them in the house when I can deploy them outside? Deploy a defensive thing. So these guys aren't as de as well laid out as they could be, but that's the problem with the deployment zone. Let's bring the militia back because they're my general. How it says a firing round shot. That's okay. And again, it's the same thing over here, really. I should have laid these guys out a bit better. Except you. Spread them out a bit more. OK, 
Okay, so we want to quickly switch, well, readily switch to carcass shot. Here come the French. So they're providing some Hussars, Hussar de Bercheny, and the 47th Regiment of Fusiliers. Obviously, Fusiliers are good. So when they're within range, we're going to want to target them. Let's get Union of Grenadier Guards out on this flank to help defend against the French. Carcass shot inbound. Yeah. You're lucky it's not Quicklime, which we are close to getting. Well, next turn we'll have... The howitzers do do focus on the... We'll pick the regiments of militia that are at their strongest. So the Hussars, they have to be careful when they charge here, because they've got a couple of defensive emplacements. Curacia Guard probably on the right flank, because that's where the bulk of the enemy cavalry is. Provincial cavalry, von Midlitz cavalry. So there aren't as many... Where's well, one defensive position here? You're going after the 10th regiment. Obviously that was a bust. That's the thing. Carcass shot is kind of like quickline, but it seems to have a higher failure rate. Don't worry, I'm aware that there's a little bit of a gap in our line here. But there we go. The opening salvos have been fired. As the Frenchman from the house opened fire. Two men deploy square. Grenadier guards stay out of it for now. Cavalry's on the move on the right flank as well. There we go. So these guys will be firing back into the into the back of the actual cavalry rather than into my unit. So that uh, the light horse are engaging my men inside the building. That will be difficult for them. Let's get one of my howitzers to focus on that unit. Oh yes, they run into the spikes. I'm going to engage the cavalry to the rear, so you guys focus on those hussars. You guys actually focus on the fusiliers coming in. And gets bring more muskets into the fight. Yeah, this is what we wanted to see. Just an absolute swarm of enemy units but actually no they can't form up a position or at least not very well okay, you men are going to engage the 11th regiment of foot no kills how oh, it's as inbound against the against the hussars good good hits they're going to retreat back through their defenses you men form line So these two grenadiers actually come over here. Guard infantry come over here. The French, they're getting ready to prevent us charging back at them with their fusiliers, but I don't think it's going to help. Their militia is bravely advancing on our defensive position. Let's deploy our cuirassier guard here. You men fire it well off. Who's that back there? Provincial cavalry. So the first enemy advance has got to point blank range, but obviously we are relatively safe behind our trenches. Present fire. They're reloading. So the French cavalry is a bit is pretty neutered by the presence of these spikes. It gives them not the best routes of advance. We can we can skirmish them so they don't 
They aren't actually going to do the most damage they possibly could do. And there's obviously the men in this house that are being weakened by the enemy. No, shoot them. Charge them, rather. Sorry, don't shoot them. And again, don't make them... You don't want to kill them. Although, actually, it would, might potentially be in our interests to kill them. It's got one cavalry charge, but they are just provincial cavalry. They aren't superstars. These two units drop into square. Get this cavalry back out on the flank. You guys fire at will again. There we go. That's repulsed the 11th. Another enemy force is massing in the woods at the edge of town. You try and hit them. You guys continue your attacks against the French. There we go. There goes that unit of horse, regiment of horse. So you guys form line. I might even focus my artillery fire on this flank because we do have a significant concentration of French troops, which are better. The provincial cavalry's hit my cuirassier guard. You guys cease fire, because my cuirassier guard is more than enough for that. Carabiners have been pushed back. The 9th Westphalians are charging once more. More carcass shot inbound. There we go, another enemy attack has been repulsed in the centre of town. They're bringing up more men, <clears throat> including more cavalry. There we go. The Cuirassier Guard have won against the Provincial Cavalry. New men form line again. So the Grenadiers are really helping hold this flank. Karka shot inbound against the Agilvy Regiment. They've been depleted. There we go, they've fallen back. Troops in this house are holding them off magnificently. Okay, I might actually start to get you guys to interdict some of the units entering the field in the centre. Including a unit of Fusiliers, but they're really spread out because they've screwed up deploying stakes. Although they have really... It's not a bad defence in the town, really. You fire it well on, because you've got a lovely target in the, in the shape of the 4th Regiment of Foot. The Hussars have had enough, and they're going to charge the Grenadier Guards. You wonder if the French are uh, regretting their uh, attacks against or supporting their ally in this attack against Brussels because we are heroically holding them off. So they're shattered so then this wing can advance to face the Fusiliers. We can retarget our artillery to face the enemy or to face new enemies. There we go. The enemy has been repulsed. The Fusiliers have deployed square because they cannot face every enemy. Okay, more shots ring out. Oh, we're running. We're not even running short of ammunition. Well, kind of running short of ammunition. But by clearing out this flank, we've got a good core of infantry here that are actually not bad on the ammunition front. So, focus the artillery on the incoming cavalry and infantry. Continue to attack the Fusiliers with carcass shot. 
But yeah, this is why I like defending on the back of a town, because you can see the enemy has to thread their way through all these little buildings. It becomes quite advantageous. So again, they're bringing up more cavalry. We have a cavalry charge here, but they've been, they're being met by withering fire. And we've got a unit of provincial horse here waiting for waiting for support. So let's speed up time a little bit because it's mostly just um, enemy cavalry units waiting for <laughs> waiting for other units to come up and support them, I suppose. Carcass shot going inbound. Yeah, see, carcass shot isn't. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's chipping away at them. Um, but quick climb is a lot more generally devastating. So the twelfth regiment, if they're, if they be men true of heart, yeah, they are. Yeah, they will be picked apart by my troops. Okay, right. So, the unit of militia came back, so they're getting some cheap kills on my men, so fall them back. But yes, that's right. Fall them back. 20th Regiment Bear Infantry Regiment. Hey, actual infantry. Well, then again, I suppose they do have lots of infantry now. First Army was pretty, pretty, pretty pants. We've still got two guard, uh, yeah, infantry guard regiments who have taken a bit of a bit of a shellacking, but they're gonna they're gonna do good stuff. Keep knocking out the fusiliers, because obviously we don't want them getting in range. Fifteenth regiment of foot line infantry. These men are getting shepherd with pot. As uh, Arkwright would say in open all hours. That's right. Imagine... S oh, this is part of why I can't understand. So I understand why they use the tactics they did in this era. There's a fantastic, fantastic discussion. Well, like, um... A video about it from... Uh... So we're up near Niagara. I think I'm pretty sure it's Canadian that's come across the river to give the speech. He's explaining it all, and I think he does a really good job. Um, but the 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 gonads on these people to stand here waiting for like a you know 50, 60 caliber slug of lead just to slam into their gut. You know that's pretty awful. So the general's bodyguards coming in, but that makes him a delicious target. So we've already killed two enemy generals. So the enemy cavalry is deploying. I could deploy you guys out on the flank now, because we've not we're not as at risk here. Whereas your in, in, infilade fire could be incredibly useful. So your ammo state's fairly poor. So we need to start to draw some of our reserves back ready to take position when these guys run out of ammo oh they just missed the stakes still the von meets its cav von von mil militz von militits oh, don't upset my don't upset my howitzers I'm happy for you, some of you, to die while routing to my gun crews, but I don't want you to come back. So I might run some militia back here. Okay, the enemy are now coming in, and they're actually bringing some proper infantry with them. So that's going to be our focus for our power to fire. Although you're focusing it on the enemy cavalry that's running away. General's bodyguard is getting involved. 
this cavalry unit will fall to our infantry units. You guys stay where you are, because you'll fire into the side of this cavalry unit here. I mean, these units on the flank have got a lot of ammo as well. Oh, there we go, the cavalry came back. I mean, these militia, I'll get into the action if I need them to. No, you guys stay behind your cover. They're shattered. They're running. Okay, let's... Let's get a unit of... A unit of this infantry in. Although, fortunately, you're actually only gonna... Shoot some already routing cavalry. Okay, let's filter in a unit of guardsmen. You hit the regiment of foot, you hit the Prince Eisenberg. Yeah, apart from that last general's bodyguard, it looks like we are in the in the end game. So these men should fall to not very many round uh, like what not very many um volley fire shot. A shot didn't do so well on the against the 23rd. But no, most they got a lot of cavalry sat back, and we don't need guns for that, we can just form square. There you go, men are reloading. So keep an eye on. This unit's got one volley left. Looks like it. They've got no ammunition, but they're not melee only. So they've reloaded and they can fire one volley each. And then they're done. These guys have a few volleys. That unit... The um, 18th is done. They've been reduced to half numbers. The 17th is done. Another unit's trying to push up through the through the town. Brave of them. Ahead of the bodies of all of your dead comrades. General's bodyguard wandered a bit too close to the line there. Yeah. Carcass shot inbound. We get some collateral kills here. Uh, I killed some of the 19th Regiment of Militia. That's pretty good. Okay, there we go. That's one unit. Done. Dunzo. Bring in the line infantry guards. These men are just going to walk away from the line. These guys are done. Throw in a regiment of line infantry. You're actually firing pot shots, but I'll allow it. These two units are going to fall back. So you guys are going to try and hit the Eisenberg infantry on the flank. You guys continue to to um, chip away at the enemy in the, f in the center. You guys are out of ammo. You guys are out of ammo. Let's 
Bring in another unit. So we've got three units of line here that are all melee infantry only. Drop into squares. Yeah, they got broken, so hopefully kill a handful of guys before they get away. Get back into square. Form line. You're out of ammo. Bring the militia in with my commander. So you can see why I do need artillery. I, sh I, do I should get some form of um, field artillery because you can see that I'm... You know, ammunition conservation is becoming an issue. 20th are broken. And there's only so much two units of howitzers can do. Although they've done pretty well. Let's not act like they've not done well. They have. 20th regiment. That's right. Hit my new spikes. Well, new for you. Yes, perfect. Look at that. So they're going to be annihilated trying to flee. Everyone else is generally okay on ammunition state. Except my militia obviously aren't not the best unit to have in an action such as this. Get my cuirassier guards are out, out to try and see if they can take out that general. Let's get a howitz unit to attack. That unit of provincial horse, another general unit to, artillery unit to hit the 28th. Let's bring in my cavalry to act as. I mean, they've only got carbines, so I'm only going to run them up here to just. Have they got carbines or pistols? Can't remember. I mean, you've got. Oh, well, you had fire at will on. Cavalry drift close enough to you. And they're charging in. Okay, don't risk my cavalry. Back you come. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Spike, spike, spikes. That's going to deal with a good chunk of you guys. You can make it to my line if you like, but you're likely not going to stay there. And then you're going to route straight through them again. <laughs> yes. Yes, my pretties. So what have we got? Provincial Cav. General's Bodyguard. And one unit of infantry. So I'm going to speed up time. There's a couple of units of infantry. But they are... Well, the bulk of the fun has been had. I think. So they're going to route. These guys are going to route. They're shattered as well, actually. They're routing. What about the general? The general's gone. The heroic defence of Brussels. Awesome. But yeah, so that's... Yeah, so that's, that's a good uh, a good example. Or a good um, case, if you like. Of why you want field artillery because uh, troops on the ground can only do so much They sooner or later they will just start to run out of ammo and you'll start to see Westphalia becoming burnt out like they'll start to just run out of troops so it's very much a case of withstanding okay, you guys can't get to where you need to be you guys can replenish because it's only a matter of time before they maybe turn on Amsterdam. Because Amsterdam, well, Amsterdam has walls at least. You guys continue to replenish. You are going to advance down here. 
I mean, if nothing else, I may as well march towards Strasbourg. Because you're now actually a pretty stable force. Well, you may as well march and take out that wandering, depleted stack at Calais. There we go, and you guys can march up to the fort and hold the bridge. And these ships, these men, embark. Land at Le Havre. Stay near Paris. Because really, they're going to come at us. So I might actually do a bit of housekeeping. So let's combine the guards. Okay, let's combine, combine our troops together. Then take our weak units out to Patricio de Baloa. So that we maintain a strongest foot forward approach. So combine the pikes. So we're going to lose unit of pikes. But that might be the best in the long run, to be honest, in this army. There we go. Then actually we're in pretty good shape there. Don't build better infrastructure. Let's build some regiment of horse. And... Some... Curassier. Plus an artillery piece. Brussels. You guys can't recruit anything really. Although you guys are out of range. I could have used them to attack the Med Antwerp to free up this route here so that those troops can march up and support Brussels. Let's recruit some artillery from Amsterdam. But we do want to continue the recruitment of troops around all of my major cities I don't want to get surprised so we've got some grenadiers that are going to be chasing down you but well, next turn when you're done they'll be chasing you down let's run my spy up to here okay then we're going to have to do some Economy investing, because we're just dumping a load of loads of money into recruiting troops, which is what we need to do at the moment. Fleet destroyed. That's a bit of an exaggeration there, but alright. Um so then over to the Americas. I mean you guys just keep picking away at these ragtag fleets or ragtag armies until we feel safe then we can do things like send an army of just infantry out to Cayuga there we go in Albany we can repair the government chamber you guys are still replenishing but if we can take, well, if we can take Cayuga, this force will go and garrison Cayuga. This force will end up probably pushing towards Montreal. There's a French agent, I see. Lots of good building upgrades, and we can, can we get the top tier? No, we don't have power loom. Nope. Um, Seville, don't work on rockets. That's a waste of your research. Instead, go for selective breeding might be good, but power looms just... We've got a lot of indus industrial buildings. Power loom is going to be the one to go for. Yeah, so now we have quicklime, which is excellent. We have got the bones of a fleet here. Got a couple of ships in Portsmouth. So you're ready. Señor. 
You men are recruiting or replenishing, ready to act as a bit of a reserve for Paris when they need it. Um, lots of these armies are now... They are, they are officially depleted. Although I might move you guys out of the fort. Well, no, okay. So how many of you can... So it's the artillery that can't get there. So take everyone bar the artillery. Stand in the middle. Within range of Brussels. You men stay behind at Paris. So this army is going to clear up these chaps, hopefully. You're going to push up and threaten Strasbourg. It will draw Westphalia into action. But that's why if we fight a defensive battle, hopefully we can repulse enough of them. Let's hit in turn and see what the AI does, because we're about to end the episode. I don't want to attack. Okay, right, so there's a full army has gone up to Cayuga, so that's not... Our um, offensive isn't going to work. Our force that's in New York is going to have to push up. You're going to go pick up an army there and probably deposit them off the coast somewhere not useful. Nope, you guys... That's a lot of curiosity air. Yeah, you guys retreat. I mean, they're not going to get away with... Ooh, that's not super great. I should have swapped those guys around, really. No. <laughs> but this this is what I mean about... Um, it's in our interests to not... To wait. Because they're not adding any more troops into the fight. What they're doing is they're... Oh, they want triple Tanya. They want Tripoli. Mm, new model bayonet. I'm not going to give you new model bayonet drill. Keep fighting Austria. Keep fighting France, comma, Austria. Don't start messing around with what I've got going on. I'm just me. I've just got a lovely border with you. That's Oh, good. That's a good sign. They're pulling troops away from my front. Well, they were. Damn. So now the Russians are the issue. I mean, they're, they're, they're building up, but we've got a fairly good line. Which they can't easily penetrate. So Sweden's coming. I hope Sweden's not going to declare war on us. New, New Spain's going to try and fight off the French again. And they've been beaten. Go on, New Spain. You can do that. To be honest, I should give New Spain a bunch of tech. Although I don't want them to trade it away for petty freedoms. Uh, do I want to draw them into the fight? No. I don't want to do that, because this army... So the reason why I, I said no to that fight was because... Well, first of all, you're going to come over here and fight Frederick Sh Shamila. Obvious, obviously, that's the way they route. They route through my. T they run away through my territory. That makes a lot of sense. You guys get up to Fort Nashwak. You guys kill those remaining French devils. Obviously, they're still alive. Take them out. So, there's a few things we're going to want to do in this episode. So you're going to stay at Boston. And you're going to pick up like, a bit more support. So we've got a large force up here. that looks like it's splitting up. So we don't want that to happen. So we're going to have this force advance against Cayuga. Because they've left it open. Demand the surrender of the territory. Which they've given us. We're going to take this force. Oh, actually, that's okay. That's not a good idea. Hmm. Should have thought about that because you guys can't actually. Well, you can hit them, but you'll push them. If you attack here, they'll run up. 
That's not too bad, but then they could run down. So let's get a sloop in here. Although we've got another we've got another army coming down here. Well it's mostly it's all militia. Let's upgrade Boston's recruitment capacity. Well we've taken the city, but you guys are gonna fall back. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna keep it. If it became the Cherokee, that wouldn't be too bad. Enemy raid at Dijon. There we go. Our garrison is now full strength. Nearly. There's one unit that isn't, but I can just swap them out. The new men combine. Paris is recruiting some engineers, but let's recruit some line. Because you guys, you're quite well served from a cavalry perspective. Very well served from a cavalry perspective. Not so much artillery and morally infantry. But, so a few things have happened. So I didn't attack at Brussels, which means that my guys get another turn to replenish. This force here in Asanto Reyes gains their artillery back and they can attack this Westphalian force and this French force and join them in one battle. That frees this up, which means that this infantry and artillery could then push to support Brussels. Or they can hold and provide a Western threat to the Westphalians. You will need to fight this French army. You're going to fight that French force there. So you're going to get chased down by grenadiers. So you stand here. Because when we fight this army, they can either run west or they can run south. So standing there gives them the best possible chance of picking the right direction. So let's do a bit of replenishment, because we want Paris to be a strong region. Keep the Grenadiers charging up behind them. So you're going to need to hit them, you're going to hit them, you're going to hit them. And these guys will then stay in the same right area of Brussels to act as reinforcements. To be honest, I might even... Okay, let's see if we can free up some space in this army here, which we can. We can trundle an artillery piece up to them, and then we can probably do it again so let's pick our weakest or one of our weaker units there you go doing some good work filling up other line infantry units you can then trundle another gun team up so brussels is quite well defended your you won't need well, i might i might actually then just also just uh weakest unit we can lose some experience there because we're dumping a lot of inexperienced men into an experienced unit. But these guys collectively are enough to attack these two armies here. Okay, we've got a lot to, there's a lot to be getting on with. Obviously London. Let's get a field marshal of Europe recruited in London. Actually, no, let's do that in Spain. Because Spain has lots of the cool unit types. So we want to use those. With Army Staff College would be nice to build, but... Hunters. Portuguese Cazador. Those are great. Aragon Volunteers. Cazadors. Light in... Lots of, lots of good stuff. It's unfortunate you guys have to stay where you are, but we can't trust what the Indian factions will do. We don't want to lose Tangier. There we go. We've got some more ships over... To this trade zone, so send you a galleon and send you. There we go. Bring back more sugar. Again, 19,000 because we are massively expanding the army. So our income is going down. But there's not a lot we can do about that. 
get some pretty good infantry to it types later on. There's not a lot we can do about that until we beat France and the West German states. Because that will give us some quite good territories. And it'll give us another front line with the Austrians, which means we can then jump on them. Or attempt to. Uh, minor, not minor, they're not minor nations, but let's go to Russia. Well, I'll just peace then. You fools. Pick up a couple more engineers in Istanbul, because we might need to run them up to give them some extra support. Um, but in general, the question is, well, what we need to do is keep keep recruiting. You guys need to finish replenishing already. Although I don't want to do go too mad on the recruiting because I do need to go on the offensive. So let's take the Paris garrison, which is now at full strength. March them out to go here. Guillaume Chertien de Seychelles. Which should they should die pretty quick, but I'm glad we've got a reasonable amount of cavalry because we can we'll probably want to kill some of these actual units. But yeah, looking at the timer, we're way over. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the the beginning of a few key battles in Western Europe. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>